Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 20th of August 2020 and the time has just gone 9.52 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is Euro Dollar. Um, as we can see here, uh, the wider trend for the last few weeks and months has been um, in a solid upward trend, it's been quite positive. Uh, it, it wasn't too long ago, uh, only uh, on, uh, on Tuesday, uh, Euro dollar hit its highest level um, in over two years. So it's been on a very much kind of positive upward run, but where do we go from here? Um, if you take a look at yesterday's price action, this candle here, the big red one, that has the potential to be a bearish daily, a daily bearish engulfing, uh, which, if that is the case, um, could, could suggest that we could see uh, a move to the downside. Now, for those of you who don't know uh, what a bearish engulfing is, let's just take a look at a textbook example. Um, this is this is the price pattern here, where you have several days in a row of an upward move, all these green candles, and then what you have here is a large downward day. Uh, we can see here um, the, the body of this candle here, the, the big red, red red rectangle, completely engulfs uh, the body of the previous day's candle, this green body here, which is this is what's where the engulfing part comes in. And then what we can see is after that, uh, that the the engulfing itself is then followed by a followed by a negative day, a down day. And if you take a look at that, um, the price action in the past, you know, couple of days. We have the large, um, we have the large negative body here engulfing the previous day's uh, positive day body, but we can also see that we're we're we've, uh, we're also in the red today. So it is possible that um, we could be uh, this this could be a bearish engulfing on uh, on euro dollar. And should that be the case, uh, we could see you know further losses. We could potentially head back towards this area in at one spot 1781. Uh, a move below that could take us down towards this zone here, just north of kind of. In around the kind of 117 area, uh, the, the lows uh, of early August uh, are in around one spot 1696. And if you have a break below that, we could potentially see his head towards the kind of 116, one spot 16 zone. That area saw a bit of consolidation um, in, in late July, and it's only if we, if we really have a very significant uh, pullback or move to the downside, could we head back down towards this blue line here, the 50 day moving average, and that comes into play in at one spot 1511. And notice how um, in the kind of latter half of May, the 50 day moving average acted both as resistance uh, and also as support. And if a metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be important in the future, although there are no guarantees. But let's not, let's not forget what the wider trend is. Uh, so the wider trend is very much to the upside. Uh, so if that broader trend does continue, uh, we, and if we, if we take out the recent highs that we saw only, only a couple of days ago, we could then be looking up towards the kind of psychologically important 120 level. Uh, and if you go beyond that, we could also we could be looking heading back up to the, um, this level here in at one this level up here uh, in at one spot 2140. Because like I said, um, only a couple of days ago, euro dollar hit its highest level since May 2018, so its highest level in over two years. So it really does depend on what kind of time frame you're looking at. Some traders are very much short short you know short time. Where is it going to be in the next? couple of hours uh, so it is or some traders look where is it going to be in a few days or weeks so it is possible uh, we could see a that this could be this could turn out to be a bearish engulfing whereby we have a we have a pullback and move to the downside um, but depends some people might take a, be taking a longer term view uh, and because that, let's face it buying on the dip has been a popular strategy in the last number of months so if we do have a move to the downside, that could we could see some fresh buyers enter the fold. Although some traders with a very much a short-term time span could be looking to could, could be looking to um could be looking to to, to these downside targets as potential areas actually to close up potential short positions rather than as enter as long positions. Um, if you are going to be trading euro dollar, it is worth keeping an eye on what's going on with the dollar index. Uh, this is the, the dollar index here. It's been in, in a very much a negative trend. Um, the dollar index is basically the US dollar uh, basically against a basket of, of other currencies. And the euro dollar, the euro, makes up over half that. It's somewhere in the region around 55, 57% of the, of the dollar index. And we talked about what appears to be a bearish engulfing on euro dollar. Well, conversely, we seem to be seeing a bullish daily engulfing on the US dollar index. Um, so we are seeing a push higher in the dollar which could suggest we might see further gains from here. If you do push to the upside on, on, the, on the dollar index, 
keep an eye out for this zone here, the kind of 94 area. It's been an area where the, which is the, do, the dollar index has, has kind of really struggled to break above. But if you do see a break above it, that could be quite significant. And that could, and if you do see a break above 94 on the dollar index, that could suggest we, we, we could be in for further losses on euro dollar. Conversely, if the, if the dollar index fails to break above 94 and it holds above that, that could be a sign that the kind of wider upper trend in euro dollar is going to continue. Now, if you are trading euro dollar or any dollar crosses today, please keep in mind that at 13.30 British summer time, we have US jobs data out. We have the, uh, the jobless claims and also the continued claims reading as well. That's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good trading week and good luck.